Member for Werriwa. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. The Albanese government was elected by Australians to improve their lives, and since May 2022, the government has been working to move away from the inaction of the previous government and the last 10 years. 10 years of inaction on health, energy, infrastructure, climate change, and the list goes on. In short, we've been in government. In the short time we've been in government, we've already delivered on key promises to improve the lives for Australians. The previous government had 22 energy policies and they failed to land one. In less than a year, we've legislated our 2030 emissions target of 43 per cent, our 2050 net zero target, made EVs an option for more drivers and supported offshore wind farms. And this is only the beginning. Australians expect our government to make up for the wasted decade under the previous government, and that is just what we're doing. Australia, Australia must reap the benefits of a clean energy future, and with the introduction of the new Energy Apprenticeships Program, we will provide support for Australians seeking apprenticeships in the clean energy sector, the sector of the future. Australians voted for a government that would deliver on climate change, and we've delivered on that promise. It's good for the climate, but it's also good for Australians because we know it's the cheapest form of energy, uh, and it's renewable, and it's good for our standing in the world to be finally seen as someone who wants to make the changes necessary to address climate change, especially in the Pacific. We've promised to implement the recommendations of the Royal Commission into aged care quality and safety to improve the lives of our older Australians. We've directly addressed 37 recommendations of the Royal Commission, putting nurses back into nursing homes, introducing mandatory care minutes, ensuring Australians have access to transparent information on aged care homes. Our older Australians built this nation and they deserve to have access to adequate health care and aged care when they need it. We promised to deliver cheaper medicines so Australians could continue to have access to affordable medications and not choose which ones to make up. From 1 January 23, our government reduced the PBS co-payment by $12.50, the first time in 75 years. In January and February alone, 32 3.2 million prescriptions were cheaper, with four out of five receiving the full $12.50 discount. Mm -hmm. Australians are 36 million better off in just two months of this year, and if replicated across the entire year, that will save Australians a total of 218 million. But more importantly, they will get the medications and the health care they deserve. The Albanese promised to implement our cheaper childcare prop policy and on the 1st of July we deliver. 96 per cent of families in Australia will be better off under this policy. That's 1.26 million, million families. A family with a combined income of $90,000 with one child in early education and care will be $1,100 better off a year. We've delivered on increasing the income threshold for Commonwealth seniors' health cards. Just recently, 10,000 additional older Australians and veterans gained access to the Commonwealth Seniors Health Card. That's 10,000 Australians with access to cheaper medicines and additional benefits. The Albanese government is also delivering on its promise to build more social and affordable housing for the most vulnerable Australians. We passed the Housing Australia Future Fund in the House in the last sitting. This will be the largest investment by a federal government in social and affordable housing in a decade. But the bill was opposed by the coalition, who found an ally in the Greens who abstained on a plan to build 30,000 new social and affordable homes. We promise to implement the Uluru Statement from the Heart in full, and this year Australians will have the opportunity to vote on an Indigenous and Trollera State or Islander voice to Parliament. Mm -hmm. There isn't enough time in the debate today to discuss everything our, our government has accomplished since it was elected. But I am also thinking about the National Anti-Corruption Commission, getting wages moving, the Energy Relief Price Plan. All on this side of the House are committed every day to making Australia a better, kinder place that delivers our positive agenda to improve the lives of all Australians. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, those opposites seem to continue to say no. We know what the Australians voted for and we will continue to do our plan.